Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded region fully confined uh, in a quarter circle with the center O, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle uh, is uh, 8 uh, units and the angle uh, ACD is 60 degrees. And moreover, uh, this segment uh, OC is equal to the segment uh, AC. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know that this straight angle uh, is uh, 100 and 80 degrees and this angle is uh, 60 degrees so therefore uh, this remaining angle has got to be 120 degrees and here's our next step we know that this uh, radius uh, a o of this quarter circle is uh, 8 uh, units and since uh, this point uh, c is a midpoint so therefore uh, this segment uh, o c is going to be four units and likewise this uh, AC is four units uh, as well and now let me label uh, this uh, segment CD as uh, X uh, units and in this uh, next step I have connected uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, D and as a result we got this uh, triangle uh, OCD and now let's focus uh, on this triangle uh, OCD we know that uh, this uh, length uh, OD is the radius of this uh, quarter circle and we know the radius is uh, 8 so therefore this OD length uh, is 8 units and now let's recall the law of uh, cosines and here we got uh, 3 law of uh, cosines for this uh, given triangle and here our side lengths are uh, 8 uh, for uh, X and the angle uh, is 120 degrees and we are going to solve for uh, x so now we are going to use the law of cosine so we are going to have uh, 8 uh, square equal to 4 square plus uh, x square minus uh, 2 times 4 times x times cosine of 120 degrees and now we know that cosine of 120 degrees is uh, negative 1 uh, divided by 2. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced this uh, cosine of 120 degrees by negative 1 divided by 2. Let's subtract uh, 64 from both sides. This is gone. And so therefore we are going to have uh, x square plus uh, 4 x minus uh, 48 uh, equal to zero so therefore we are ended up with this uh, quadrat equation x square plus 4x minus 48 equal to zero and we are going to solve uh, for x uh, by using this uh, quadratic formula so therefore our coefficient uh, a is 1 b is uh, positive 4 and this constant c is uh, negative 48 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, quadratic formula so therefore x is going to be equal to minus b means we got negative 4 plus r minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times a is 1 b c is rather negative 48 all over 2 times 1 so therefore after simplification we are ended up with the negative 4 plus or minus square root of 208 uh, divided by 2 and now let's focus on this square root of 208 and here I have copied it down square root of 208 and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 4 times square root of uh, 13 so therefore I'm going to replace uh, this uh, square root of 208 by 4 times uh, square root of 13 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, square root of 208 uh, by 4 times square root of 13 as you can see over here so therefore uh, x is going to be equal to when we reduce these fraction that is going to give us a uh, negative 2 
plus r minus 2 times square root of 13. And now I'm going to split these values on this positive and negative signs. As you can see in this next step, I have split that one into positive and negative signs. And now we can see that this x has a negative value that is not possible since x represents the side length. So therefore we are going to reject this uh, negative value and we are going to accept uh, this uh, positive uh, x value. And now we can see 2 is in common between these two terms. So therefore we can write uh, x value as uh, 2 we can factor it outside uh, negative 1 uh, plus uh, square root of 13. So thus here is our uh, x value. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, yellow shaded region uh, area is going to be equal to this sector OAD area. This uh, whole uh, sector OAD area minus uh, the triangle uh, OCD area. This uh, triangle area. So therefore now our task is to calculate the area of this sector OAD and the area of this uh, triangle OCD as well. And here's our next step. Let me label uh, this angle uh, COD as uh, our angle uh, alpha. And now we are going to solve for this angle uh, alpha. And now let's recall the law of sines. As you can see over here, sine of alpha divided by side length A equal to sine of beta divided by side length B. And here in our case we have angle uh, alpha and its opposite uh, side length uh, is x and our other angle is 120 degrees and the opposite uh, side length is 8. As you can see over here we got sine of alpha divided by side length uh, CD equal to sine of 120 degrees divided by side length uh, OD. And now we can see our uh, sine of 120 degrees is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2. Our this uh, CD length uh, is uh, x and this uh, OD length uh, is uh, 8. As you can see in this uh, next step. And here if we simplify this part uh, that is going to give us uh, this uh, 2 times 8 is uh, 16. So this is going to become square root of 3 divided by 16 as you can see in this uh, next step. And now I'm going to multiply both uh, sides uh, by x and we can see this x uh, and x is gone. So therefore we got uh, sine of uh, alpha equal to square root of 3 divided by 16. And we know our this uh, x value is uh, 2 times uh, negative 1 plus square root of 13. I'm going to replace it uh, over here. So therefore let me go ahead and substitute that uh, one over here. 2 times uh, negative 1 plus square root of uh, 13 over here. And here's our next step. I have simplified uh, this part that gave us uh, square root of 3 divided by 8. So therefore our this angle uh, alpha is going to be equal to sine uh, inverse uh, of uh, square root of uh, 3 divided by 8 uh, times negative 1 plus uh, square root of uh, 13. If we use a scientific calculator alpha is going to be approximately equal to 34.3411 degrees. And here's our next step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this sector OAD. And now let's recall the sector area formula. Area equals to angle theta divided by 360 degrees times pi r square where r is the radius in our case uh, our angle uh, theta is uh, 34.3411. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So our uh, angle is uh, 34.3411 degrees by the way divided by 360 degrees times uh, pi 
and our radius is 8 uh, all square and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to be equal to 19.18 square units and here's our next step now we are going to calculate the area of this triangle uh, OCD and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, a times b times sine of angle c as you can see in this uh, triangle here we got two side lengths uh, a and b and the angle between them uh, is uh, c and in our case our side lengths are 4 and x uh, and the angle between them is uh, 120 degrees so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, formula so we got uh, 1 divided by 2 times we got uh, 4 times uh, x uh, times uh, sine of angle 120 degrees and now we know that our sine of 120 degrees is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced this uh, sine of 120 degrees uh, by square root of 3 divided by 2 and if we simplify this thing that is going to give us uh, x uh, times uh, square root of uh, 3 and we know our uh, x value is uh, 2 times uh, negative 1 plus square root of uh, 13 as you can see in this uh, next step I have replaced x uh, value over here and if we simplify everything that is going to give us uh, 9.0 to 6 uh, square units and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow shaded region and we already figured out uh, this uh, sector area and this uh, triangle area as well over here so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so that is uh, going to be 19.18 minus 9.026 and if we subtract uh, this one that is going to give us uh, 10.1544 uh, square units so thus the area of this uh, yellow shared region uh, turns out to be approximately equal to 10.154 uh, square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye